here. But let's start with the Mount Pleasant lineup. They shape up like this. Daniel Russell between the sticks. Of course, the captain, Sule McCalla. Fitzroy Cummins, the big centre-back, who was the captain of Vera United for quite a while. Jamoy Topi, national centre-back. Shaquille Dyer, Kimoni Bailey, Ramon Howell. Shaquille Bradford gets his first start for Mount Pleasant. Nathaniel James, the talented TNT midfielder. Uh, Demario Phillips and Daniel Green, fresh from his exploits in Vietnam. Daniel Green, and two seasons ago, he was a joint leading goal scorer. Has three goals so far in the season. He's been in good form and a, a good looking lineup let's see how the chemistry between bradford and company go dwight they shape up with what a, a, a four, four three three, three. yeah normally their formation they have a world of talent and they play that formation because for them it gets their better players on the park treasure beach they will shape up like this Holmes between the sticks anderson comes into the lineup stone Nemhard, the captain curtain Wright, who already has a goal this season they need goals hall herrera tafar thompson lamont New into this lineup, they are number 17, Ted La Parchment and Romario Bryan. And Bryan, of course, experienced officiating team led by O'Shea Nation, the man with the whistle. And Mount Pleasant started the game the best way they could by scoring. Their 22nd goal of the season, and Sule Makala had his third. Daniel Green picking up the assist. And McCullough with a smart flick with the right boot. The captain, pass home, pass home, who could do nothing about it. Mount Pleasant with a beautiful start and setting the pace early. Had other opportunities, Shaquille Bradford had quite a few of them. Half chances as he always does, Bradford, but was unable to add to his eight goals. That was a strike with the left boot wide of the target. Then Green putting that one in, and again Bradford, as you could see, half chance, heading over the top, always willing to try. Then Treasure Beach, they were reduced to 10 men. A silly foul from Romario Bryan in the second half, and he saw yellow for the second time. A smile on his face, but yeah, a bit irresponsible from him. Treasure Beach had to do it with 10, and that they did in terms of staying in the game. Daniel Green did hit the crossbar from a glancing header. And that's the closest they came. Then this was a moment for Trisha Beach to draw level and just couldn't take it. Comfortably wide in the end from Carlton Salmon. And Daniel Russell, a lot to say, quite annoyed with his defense line. Luckily for him, Salmon was inaccurate. And Trisha Beach, the chance was gone. Of course, a chunk came on as a substitute. So to Atafoy Bygrave. And they combined on a couple of occasions but couldn't find the net. As Trisha Beach continued to be stubborn, Fitzroy Cummins, the man of the match with the head over the top he was solid right throughout the game was coming and then Chong again combining Gosri and blocked again Treasure Beach standing firm but yet unable to create any real opportunities of their going in Aubrey had this strike which was on target and safe from Holmes and that was all she wrote for battery 15 for these two teams Mount Pleasant won Treasure Beach nil Three on target from 10 attempts for Mount Pleasant. They weren't at their best in terms of finishing, but they got the job done. Nothing on target recorded for Treasure Beach over 90 minutes. That was disappointing for Mar Wedderburn and company. There were some 27 fouls between the two and six yellow cards shown from a Shane Nation. Treasure Beach, the more indisciplined of the two and losing a player as well. Two saves were made by Carlisle Holmes between the sticks, but he couldn't stop the important goal for Mount Pleasant, who had majority of the possession at 60%, and the lone goal in this contest. Three big points for Mount Pleasant. They win this one by a goal to nil. Dwight Jeremiah is with our man of the match, none other than Fitzroy Simpson. Yes, Cummins, um, you had a decent game today. Um, the rest of your team up front, though, what do you make of their performance? I mean, we go back to the training ground again, you know. We take it from there, you know. We just have to kind of go up by the top and put our chances away. It seems like it's, you don't get flustered. I see other defenders around you and they have arguments with the players above that are in front of them not doing what they're supposed to do, maybe tracking back or finishing off a chance. You just go about your business. Is, is, is that a nature of how you play normally, just not bothered? You just deal with what you have to do? I mean, not necessarily, but again, we have to go again. I mean... They put the work up there, I have to just stay behind and defend for them as well. So at the end of the day, I mean, they have to go and they have to come back and defend as well. It, it, it would appear that it, it wasn't Treasure Beach that made the game difficult for Mount Pleasant today. It was more Mount Pleasant making it difficult for themselves. 
I mean, again, we'll just go back to the training ground and take it from there and go back to the drawing board. Well, and good performance from you today. Thank you so much. And I hope it continues. Thank right. you. Yeah, Thank you. good work. So, Mount Pleasant walking away with all three points. Uh, Cummins with the man of the match performance. Really good performance from him.